Hi, how are you? Today I'm going to tell you basic information about Lambda Calculus, so let's start. Well, Lambda Calculus is a little bit like engine in a car. Just as the engine is the heart of the car, the Lambda is also the heart of the functional programming and moves the computation process forward. So, what's the definition of Lambda Calculus? It's a formal system or transcription system in mathematical logic. Every single program can be rewritten in Lambda Calculus because it's a universal model of computation equivalent with Turing machine. Lambda Calculus consists of three things. Variables, abstraction and application. Let's have a look at this example. Every single Lambda expression begins with Lambda symbol, which is followed by input variable. If there is more variables, there is more Lambda symbols with variables separated by dot. We can simplify this notation with one lambda symbol at the beginning, followed by all variables. After variables, there is abstraction, which defines what action or computation will be done with variables. And finally, there is application, which means the execution of the program. When we look at this lambda expression here, variables are x and y, because they are behind lambda symbols separated by dots. After last dot, there begins abstraction, which is counting two numbers x and y, so it's additional function in this case. When we try to apply two numbers to this expression, for example 1 and 2, the result is 3, which is application part. Expression takes two numbers x and y and count these two numbers, which is our result 3. Add is part of lambda expression with lambda symbol and variables, and body is abstraction part. Let's move to another example with Boolean. We can imagine lambda calculus like some black box. What is on the input of this black box are variables, what is inside this black box is abstraction part, and what is output is just application part. I defined true as lambda expression which has two input variables, x and y, and returns x. Then I defined false as lambda expression, which has two input variables x and y, and return y, because it's opposite of true. And then we have not expression, which changes true to false and false to true. Not is a little bit tricky, so let's explain on the example. We want to change true to false, because it's not function. We are now making application part so we put this true to z variable on input, which is passed to the body. Now we have expression with true, false, true. If we expand this true from our definition above, we get this expression. Now we can see that we can do another application of the expression. We take false as x and true as y to the body and we return x because it is true function. In this case, x is false, so we return false, which is opposite of true on the beginning. It is the same with false. We are now making application part, so we put this false to z variable on input, which is passed to the body. Now we have expression with false, false, true. If we expand this false from our definition above, we get this expression. Now we can see that we can do another application of the expression. We take false as x and true as y to the body and we return y because it is false function. In this case, y is true, so we return true, which is opposite of false on the beginning. And that is whole lambda calculus. Of course, we can define true, false, not with other variables and abstraction, but this example was the easiest for explanation. That's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to give like and subscribe and thanks for watching.